some of our cars pulling out. 54X is going to be Jackson Pensek. He's going to be driver, a driver out of Dunkirk, New York. Taylor Lane and Casa, Casadega, New York, will be in the number 90 to 51. Is Alexander Hartman, Deerfield, Ohio. Eaton, Ohio's number uh, Clayton Gregg in the number 22. Brendan Barnett from MacArthur, Ohio in the 629. The 504 is Leighton Mace from MacArthur, Mechanicsburg, Ohio. That is Kay Skillings in the number 98. Eli Kidwell from Forest, Ohio is in the 702. The 020 is Cassie Hoffman from Jackson Center, Ohio. From Milford Center, Ohio, Ethan Hoffman in the 502. The seven juniors, Cody White and Cameron White is in the number 07. Clayton Day from Belois, Ohio is in the 538. The 42 is Dylan Meyer from Zeeland, Michigan. Hunter Hansen from Attica, Michigan is in the number two. Zeke Collier from Illinois is in the Z21. The 225 is Jack Drenovich from the Trobe. Cole Teets is in the 41. Isaac Hamlin in the 722. Hunter Biddle is in the 74. Uh, Scott Drevenek from Columbia Station, Ohio is in the 283. The 33 junior is Chris Campbell. He's from Moore, uh, Marrtown, Pennsylvania. Ethan Fissler in the EF7 is from Michigan. Another Michigan driver, Levi Gamer in the 804. Landry Mace in the number 328 from Ohio. There's a good look at that uh, Campbell machine. 97 is Monty Trish from Montpelier, Ohio. Colton Lamb from Greenfield is in the 45X. The 141 Bristol Muldoon is from Monroeville from Russell Springs, Kentucky. That is Jordan Flat in the 05 and the 50 is Lakin Mace. What a list. Yeah, there's some uh, pretty potent second generation names on there too. Jackson Pensek and the 54X pulling out. That's Taylor Lanin. Taylor Lanin did a phone book drive up and down Tarbox Road back at home so that he was able to see over the steering wheel. Gotta, gotta do it. Gotta get a little booster seat. Well, some fights never end. You know, <laughs> <laughs> some fights never end. Uh, some drivers that we were had a close watch on still queued up over there in the inspection lane. Not necessarily for this class, for some stuff that is to come later on as we get ready for the Jeffy's Fab Farm SMW Youth Full Size Class. Again, this class is an extension of Smith Metalworks, who essentially have Demolition Derby Summer Camp over there at their headquarters in uh, in Pennsylvania, offering students of the game to come and, and learn how to drive, learn how to build, learn the ins and outs of the sport. Also do a little bit of character build. Yes. Trying to incorporate that SEL into the equation as uh, and, uh, get these guys to understand not just how to build and how to drive, but also how to act. That's important. Don't, you know, I learned that at an early age in Derby as far as uh, I had a rough run one time, you know, and things didn't go my way, so I was kind of punching the steering wheel and punching the ceiling and just being a, you know, an immature person. And, uh, it was uh, it was a learning experience. My dad said, you know, the, the fans don't pay to see that kind of behavior. They're, they're here to see entertainment. 100% so. right. I'd like to welcome everybody that's tuning in on Facebook Live, the free preview. going to give you a little taste of the balance of our the beginning of our afternoon. The balance of the show is going to be available live on DerbyNation.tv. We are live from Chillicothe, Ohio. Jeffy's Fab Farm SMW Youth Full Size pulling out onto the track right now. This is the 2021 Bash for Cash on DerbyTees.tv powered by DEC Headers. A presentation this weekend presented by Collier Performance Engines. Appreciate all you folks tuning in. Hope you enjoy this live look in here get ready to go with the uh, stage number four of our three days of action here at the Bash for Cash. I want to say hello to Corey Boudinot. Corey's tuning in once again uh, with Bandit and uh, watching for the compacts and the super stocks. Appreciate that. And uh, Tara Years, thanks for our inside information there. We, we appreciate your feedback and uh, we'll keep our eyes open for the Cisco's. Frankie Guy is going to be trackside along with Casey Smith looking to award this heat's Wheelman Award. Yes. Being given out to driver that demonstrates uh, 
high derby IQ, high degree of success and driving ability. Not just Mad Dog, not just Most Bent, but, but taking into account all aspects of the demolition of the game. You can almost hear the excitement in the level of the idol on these cars. Right. <laughs> it's, it's very strange. The, it's much the, faster than we were used to hear. It? <laughs> Here's the countdown. Campbell barely backed up, pulled forward, and drove up to the corner, already working some yep. better, veteran strategy here. Yep. Let's take your claim early. I honestly expected to see one or two kamikazes come off the line. I did quickly. too. Very surprised to see the level of uh, cool-headedness that we saw here. Yep. I thought that it was going to be a, a bit of a, a bit of a have and have not type of start. Some has got the go pedal and some of them don't, but right now everything is uh, composed. spectator's point of view, if we didn't know any better, I would not know that there are youth drivers out here. So far. Love that Ford wagon out there. You see the 502 came barreling in and had the forethought to get on the brakes and not just drive over the rear end of the 225. Yep. Uh, you know, didn't take a careless shot there. Head all five again. So, gamer there for a moment. Six twenty nine of uh, Barnett bumping into the front of that eight oh four gamer. Impact Dairy Products trackside cam, showing you what the officials see. That was a hard shot delivered right there by the old five. Buried the bumper in there, he's in, in pretty deep. Jordan Flat. He might be over the front wheel. Yeah. Jordan Flat's in there quite a ways. Wheels off the ground there on Gamers 804. Took the shot in the back of that two door. The 33 Junior of uh, Camp Bell. And he was met in the front end, now up off the ground. A little bit of uh, important debris there. Yeah. I'm afraid that is off of the right rear of the number 90 of Taylor Lanen. Oh, that's left rear, my mistake. He took a hard shot on that corner, and just as the red flag was coming out, the right side wheel was spinning as if it was stuck hmm. or hung up. So let's see when we get back to green. Yeah. We definitely have an issue. Yeah, the, the trunk roof acrobatics are one thing. You we want, want to try and get that roof to help pull that back end up, but right now it appears that that wheel is gone on the left side.
Can't tell if it's optics with the, uh, the way that the door's pushed in and the quarter panel is bent funny or if that left side also has a bent axle. It doesn't look like the rim's bent, but you can see it looks like there's a, there's a pitch to it going think, uphill and away from us. I think it's just a matter of the wheel not being on the other side. It's pitched the rear end downward onto the driver's side. So. Heavy impact there on the top of the track. The bumper trying to come off over there on the far side of the Muldoon machine. 141, I think it is. Yeah, Bristol Muldoon from Noville, Indiana. If you're watching on Facebook, thanks for being here with us. Live look in is provided by Jeffy's Fab Farm to give you a taste of the action here at the Badge of the Cash, day number three. This is the Smith Metal Works Youth Full Size Division. Youth drivers out here driving like veterans, making for an exciting show. Plenty of action still to come on DerbyNation.tv on our pay per view uh, purchase. You can uh, watch the two 80s wire features, super stock feature, the compact feature, the pro stock feature, and the kicker class feature all coming up and will be on www.nation.tv. We also want to uh, recognize Smith Metal Works. They've been doing some uh, parts giveaways with us throughout the course of this weekend. We will be doing another one this afternoon, uh, at, uh, not on Facebook. So you have to be on DerbyNation.tv to be part of that giveaway. Got a GH Graphics red flag on the track for one on its lid. You're supposed to keep the greasy side down. Hopefully these drivers and driver and passenger are okay. Both appear to be out. Everybody's out. <laughs> wow, look at that young driver. <laughs> Ninety-eight, I think. Yeah, it, it's got a look like it had a plasma cut roof sign on the top of that one. Had. Had, yeah. If it is the ninety-eight, it's Case Skillings from Mechanicsburg. I'm trying to get Ethan Fissler moved out of the way so they can get it rolled over. Headers are buried in the dirt. Yeah, this is. And oil. I don't see fuel, so that yeah, means. Yeah, I, I was looking for the liquid running along the roof, and I don't see anything yet. Yeah. Oh, it's up through the roof, so it could just be behind the roof sign that we're not seeing. was a bumper off also on the other end of the track, but they've got that straightened out now. Oof. You'll see them all check it over real good. attempt to get back in the car.
we uh, have green flags around the track. Back underway here. Everybody trying to get back in their groove here. Ooh. Rear bumper on Muldoon's machine still trying to fall off, but not having any success. What's Meyer's first name? 42, Dylan? Dylan, yes. Dylan. Dave Myers, the boy. Car looks real good. It's a, it looks like a Dave Meyer build. You know? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Teats and the mean green machine. Pretty sure he was the only one that was near his car when I did the Facebook Live walk down of the whole lineup. Everybody else was off doing other things, and he was just sitting with his car doing on, on his phone. Right. You know. That's Campbell there. Got a solid nose on that. Hunter Biddle is in the number 74. PA driver. Locking horns with the 77 there. Thank you. Bessler using that backside. Dylan. Yeah. George was confused. Impact Dirty Products track side cam. We did a shot a little freebie in the 283. We got into the top five of the youth compacts this weekend. Now running the youth full size. Jack Dernovich in that 225. Iron City Promotions logo on the front fender. Doing battle now with, uh, that's the 22. Couple cars now hung together. We see the 141, briefly tangled up in the sheet metal on the left rear corner. Now the 221 backing in there, joining the fray as well. Z Collier there in that Z21. Solid axle shot there. It's Lane in the 45. Good look at Biddle once again. Landry Mace in the 328.
middle. Wound it up a little bit, going after the nose of the 45. Colt Lamb at number 45 X, driving from Greenfield, Ohio. Colt, oh. Colt finishes a shot there, going into the back of the freebie machine, number 328. Oof. They're looking at something in that 45. The official was pointing, the passenger questioned it and looked at his watch. Oh, uh, two things might have been the case. First, they were wondering about the, uh, the elbow on that big shot delivered on the uh, right rear corner. Just like we saw that shot on the door, you know, you got to turn left to protect dad. Yes. But also making sure that the passenger's hands weren't on the shifter. Oh, yeah. Wondering if that was something they were looking at as well. Red flag on the track. And that is Muldoon's bumper finally came off. NLR Derby Parts. Dot com red flag. Good build, it's not seeing the attrition really stack up here. No, we're, we're seeing a little bit down here at this far end and a little bit at the other end, but uh, but you know they're, they're maneuvering well. They're ca there's still plenty of cars out here. And the 05 has been one of the main aggressors out here in this feature so far, mm -hmm. and you're seeing the result of that right <laughs> here. An excited pair right there. Flat in the number 05. have to wonder, does he realize he has reverse? <laughs> Hard to say. I guess one of the other questions is, is he worried about it? Right. <laughs> for a moment there was locked up on that shelved off rear end. Freebie taking advantage of some cars in that pack. Snuck right in there, got a good wheel shot. That's the day machine, I believe. With all the rainbow colors on. Yeah, the, the roof sign is situated so that it's facing over the nose and over the trunk. 538. Yep, Clayton Day. Jesse Darrow says, Darrow and Spiax watching from Pennsylvania with our youth drivers. Thanks for tuning in.
Seven Junior Cody White with a big shot out there at the top of the track. Good run for Cody coming together. The red and black colors. Seen a lot of the mid 90s style cars this weekend. A lot of mid 90s style uh, Vix and a lot of the Lincolns and in all the classes. It seems like there's more of the Vix are showing up in this class here, but there was a lot of those uh, slab sided Lincolns. Yes. Seemed to be the car of choice this weekend for a lot of guys. Chad Markley used to drive the wheels off those things. Starting to go up on the number 05. That was flat. Now steam coming from under the hood there. On another one of those youth contenders. Impact every product's track side cam. Showing you the official view from the wall. A lot more steam now as they punctured that radiator. Wasn't really sure what we were going to see there, but he was in a hurry to get there. Yeah. Grenovich in the 225. Oh, no. Yikes. Cody White put up on the wall. Trying to finish him. Put, put Cody up there to stay. Z Coyer in the Z21 there. Black, purple, and gray machine. Looks like the seven has gotten down now. Qualifying contact, the next objective. For Cody White. And contact made. Without moving to the point of urgency. And call you there to return the favor. Couple of big shots delivered right there in succession. Yes. Bristol Muldoon in the 141 here. It's a red and black car. Try and knock the steering out with that shot. Didn't come to pass. Sideways against the wall, not a good place to be. <laughs> Cody White, that seven junior, playing a dangerous game. Having trouble with ignition or something. Did not seem to want to take off. Now we see that's uh, Fistler and the 
through 25. Jack Drenovich battling away. Working essentially from the midpoint on to the track entrance. A lot of flanking and jockeying for position being done there. Here on the opposite end of the track, action still going on. That is the 804, the gamer machine. Pressing the issue with that number seven. White going up in smoke now in the number seven JR. Fessler's got the makings of a pretty good roll started there on the back of his machine. Six twenty-nine was able to get that bumper to flip. Now hitting, trying to keep the, the pressure off the arches in that number six two nine. Using the nose a little bit more now, and this is Brendan Barnett. No give in that number seven. Cody White steaming pretty heavy for a while there. Now he has stopped steaming. You saw him have some ignition issues. He was stuck on the wall at one point as well. There is Dave Meyer. The shotgun in that number 42. Dylan Meyer at the wheel from Zeeland, Michigan. Meyer hitting the number 225. Jack Drenovich. Seven make it eight now in front of us.
Clayton Gregg out there in the 22, top of the screen. Black car with the gray and blue doors. Five cars together down here in the corner. Three individual derbies going on. Jeff Raley let me know that uh, Holden Jackson and Cody O'Daniel helped out with the building of the Z21 Collier car. Have some help from buddies. That's what the sport's all about, right? Very few are, are a one-man operation, you know? Some are, and a lot of respect to them, but takes a village, as they say. It takes a village. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Back end looking rough. Can't tell whose car that is, but you can see the, the bumper is peeled loose from the left side. Yes. Even though it's up that high, not actually making any contact with that bumper, it's still serving the purpose of trying to keep those rails tied together. And, and keep everything folding even. You can see how those that bumper is still a factor there on the number seven and on that car that's pulling away from us. Two different fold styles, but that bumper helps them keep, ensure that those rails stay even. They don't go uh, against one another. Sometimes what'll happen when that bumper gets out of the equation or loses connection, the rails, instead of going up evenly, they start to cross and overlap each other. You get that crisscross effect of the sheet metal and it causes the, uh, the belly effect a little bit more quickly. I was going to say that uh, I don't know that it necessarily pushes the belly in quick, more quickly, but it definitely affects the humps more quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I guess maybe I shouldn't call it belly. What I'm saying is when those twist over, starts to pull those humps in, get yes. that crossover, and then yeah. it just makes everything just drop. Yeah, you're right. I, this is really, take nothing away from these kids, this has really not been what I was expecting out of this. I expected it to be a bit more, wow, good hit. You can hear that, there's just a thud. Watch that driver almost eat the steering wheel for yeah. lunch. And then in return, uh, Free be able to put a shot on the left front corner of that number seven and, and uh, Cody White quickly trying to get out of there. I expected this to be one of those ebb and flow type features where you, everybody comes out, all hopped up on adrenaline, adrenaline frenetic, give the first red flag, adrenaline dump, everything slows down. Yes. Regroup, a couple big shots are thrown, amps up, flurry of activity, red flag, adrenaline drops again, that up and down, up and down. And this, is, this has been a, a good showcase of patience and awareness, you know, hitting the brakes, picking the shots, managing your equipment. Yes. Marathon, not a sprint. Ooh. Oh, I'll bet that wheel. Roof starting to move quite a bit on that number seven. 
see the sheet metal packed in on the quarters and then the trunk. Everything laid fairly flat behind the number seven. Look how much the window bars push the window up. Yeah. Top of the roof, way up in the air. It's into the tank protector now, locked in place. So. Oh. Myers machine started. Oh, no. You look just ahead of the left wheel on that number seven. You can see some of that stuff like we were talking about. Everything's starting to shift forward on that. that squaring off effect. Nose starting to peak up a little bit on the 801. That's the Gamer machine, Levi Gamer from Michigan. Seeing what I'm seeing right here. Is Meyer using a left front handbrake to turn the car? Did you see that? I see Dave just stuck his hand out the window to get a close up of uh, Cody White in the 7. I No, I wasn't really paying attention to that, but I've been watching after you pointed out that that front tire was laid over. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it's just catching the firewall and stopping, but it seems right. like he was consciously using a brake to turn the car. The right front got jammed, and now watching that one close, trying to follow along the 42. Ooh, Whoa. Bent that time. Yeah, it sure did. I think it's catching the firewall. I'm, I'm just I'm watching his left hand, and, and it's on the wheel. Unless he's using the shifter hand for the handbrake also. Yeah, I don't see it inside the car. No, that was a good angle of it right there. It looks like when he goes forward that maybe something's come loose or starting to come apart. And going forward, it pushes back into the firewall. When he gets a turn, it seems like that wheel wants to start spinning. It seems like when he spun the steering wheel, the wheels turned the way that he wanted it to. Either way, that shot from Cody White into the nose definitely shifted the, yeah. the, the snout on that 42. Oh, and that didn't help. Seven. Sure did. Good shot from Collier in the background. Oh, up there in the 74, Biddle. Little freebie all by himself down here just yeah, playing the game uh, with the 629. Right. I think they're 
on the clock here, trying to get refired. 6.29 hasn't been in that particular spot for quite some time. A lot of chatter on that right rear from the broken axle aboard the number seven, Cody White. Bumper inverted on the number seven. See the frame rail starting to peek out from underneath the car on the right side as well. Those of you that are watching with us on Facebook, thanks for being here. This live look in on Facebook. It's brought to you by Jeffy's Fab Farm, giving you a taste of the action here at the Bash for Cash, day number three. We'd like to catch the rest of the action here today, which includes two 80s wire features, a super stock feature, compact feature, pro stock feature, kicker feature, all still coming up. You can do so on DerbyNation.tv. Single tickets, just 25 bucks. If you get the whole multi-pass ticket, covers all three days. You can watch everything you missed the last couple of days. Tons of action here this weekend. Make sure you go back and watch the Relic and Frank the Tank classes, the highlights of Saturday. Absolutely. Oof. Oh boy. He Careful there. Three wheels in the air and somehow drove out of that. Nose really buckling bad on that 801 for Gamer. Interesting, uh, Freebie's window bar, the, the rear rolled and packed, and the window bar looks looks like it separated almost immediately. It did not bend with the rest of the trunk. Oh, Whereas, my. And it looks like it's overlapping the back of his bumper now. Sure. So it didn't, he doesn't have the, that, the characteristic roof being pushed upwards by the window bar. Or pulled down like we see on that 22. Mm. That is Clayton Gregg in the number 22 there. returning some of that damage back to Collier's machine. Collier has taken advantage of him against the wall and now getting some retribution here. When Biddle lets off the throttle, you can see that uh, starts pushing some pretty heavy smoke. When he's on the gas, it clears itself up, but something developing on that number 74. Or devolving. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are, Ken. Yeah, it's loading up and it does not want to uh, does not want to stay fired either. See, he's had to touch that back off a couple times. Now stuck on the 33 of Campbell Jr. is the 74. Freebie getting pushed on the track by the 07. That's Cameron White. Before Biddle able to work his way out of there. Oh, you're able to get freed from that massive stuck to the back of Cameron White's number 07. White stuck on the back of the freebie machine. Scott Drevenek in the 283.
Trying to bury the nose now. That's Cameron White that's in trouble in that number 07. You see Biddle was working the right front corner. No steering on the 225. Gamer in the 804, still running and moving, trying to be a little bit more protective of that nose. Here's we get down into the money positions. Drevenek with the 283. And that number 22, Clayton Gregg. Dernjevic in the 225. Gamer looks to be living on borrowed time here. Several of the 801. Are. Yeah. Meyer was puffing steam for a, a while earlier and now nothing. But also, no, no smoke out of the headers. No flames Nothing, out of the headers. No. It's a good engine. Yep. A lot of blow by and a lot of blue smoke there in the 74 Biddle. Whoa. Whoa. Shutting all the switches off in there. Yeah. Realistic every project red flag. Just push them back over. Still running. Yeah, it sure is. Hopefully it's not in gear. I was thinking the same thing. That gentleman in the plaid should probably find someplace else to stand. Watch the edge of the roof sign. Watch that thing snap up and catch you in the chin and the bottom of the nose. Oh. Now it's on fire. Yep. <laughs> Here, oh, Peter. man. Yeah. Yep. Probably some <laughs> Oof. This guy got cut off at the pass. He came running with that extinguisher. <laughs> 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 the fire crew says, nah, buddy, I'm here first. Oof. Boy. Stick down. Yep. So it's so heartbreaking when you do it to yourself. He made that hit, just bounced off the rubber of the tire, and off, off it was. Do you think it would have gone up if he was able to get it shut off? Hard to say. It was, it was still pumping fuel into the carburetor, so it was right. pouring that out of the top, and yep. then probably hit the header. So. Or at least to the extent where it was saturating that right. uh, air cleaner. Right. So we're back underway. And 
Cameron White in the 07. Meyer in the 42. And the Z21, Z Collier out there. Still have Freebie running and moving up there at the top of the track, the 283. And way down at the far end of the track, that is the 22 of Clayton Gregg. Levi Gamer still in the mix. At this point, sorry. with as much as that nose is taken, you so much as blow on it and it starts to shift that rail further, right. you know? 225 doing a good job of, of timing people getting into their path, driving with that no steering situation, but mm -hmm. now in trouble down here. Facing the wrong way, they got to start to yep. work it around. And he doesn't, I don't believe he has steering. See, the tires are looking at each other when he's going backwards. Passenger side tie rod's been broken for a long time. He was still running on one wheel steer for a while, but I think it finally gave up the ghost a little while ago. Not cannonading contact, but contact nonetheless. Or Jack in the 225. And going after the right rear corner there of the number 22, Clayton Gregg. Hands are up. There's Sorry about that. In the number 07. Meyer in the number 42. Down to six. Shifted seven. the body suspension, did the work though. Absorbed it. Down to seven. One probably facing the most peril of these remaining seven is that 804 Levi Gamer, driver from Michigan. You can see the nose waffled out pretty bad. Danger starting to drag the frame back, back there behind the front wheels and uh, steam coming from under the hood. Pretty sure the stick went down on Gamer's machine. Hard, hard to tell from that angle, but I think it's down.
still got plenty of back end, Dylan. Just make sure you use it up. Backs in the 225. Dernivich trying to wear out that number 22. A little bit of frustration there starting to be vocalized from the number 22. Clayton Gregg trying to get out of that mix. composed jack of the 225 didn't take the shot on the left side rails as the number 42 Each of those front tires on the 225 sort of following a plan of their own. Yeah. You know, sometimes one's turning, sometimes one's flopping different directions. It's done a good job of managing it. Yep. You know, we've, we've sort of said it a few times, Chris, but uh, it's hard to not be impressed with the skill of these drivers. Oh, I know. I, I agree. I don't know if I went into it with low expectations or, or what, but uh, it's been very impressive. It's, uh, at times, it's almost hypnotic. You know, you're just watching the chess match, and you're waiting for somebody, and you're watching the way the cars are rolling and bending, as we see some issues now developing there on the 221, uh, the Z21, rather, Z Collier. Having some issues with oh. the rear end, chucking back and forth. Just be easy on the throttle, Z. Yep. Oof. Oh. Boy. Dave Meyer's gonna be sore tomorrow. Yep. Yep, no question. <laughs> Probably a lot of these passengers are. Now here's number 42, repositioning. Well, good placement right there. Got that corner right on the left front. Six. 
Yeah, it looks like it. See five for sure. Well, preview makes the six car. He's, yeah, he's four. Off the screen on the it was inside. I had lost track of the 22 of Clayton Gregg myself. So both of them sort of just playing peekaboo off the edge. You know, we see this group of four here in the middle. They're working from the outside in on the cage. watched the 225 fight the steering issues. We've watched him kind of practice his throttle response, you know, and, and feather in the throttle to be where he needs to be. Collier at the Z21 has, has been able to continue to keep a drive shaft in that with the mm -hmm. rear end chucking around. He's being gentle on the throttle. Scotty's car looking perfect and he's been one of the more conservative strategic drivers out here right he's done a good job of sort of playing the game sticking down to one end mm -hmm. picking on one car that wanted to kind of hang with them and keep themselves out of trouble when we were getting CJ's car ready for the youth compact division earlier in this weekend I know CJ needed a little bit of help out there because this is his first derby. He's got plenty of seat time on the yard, but nothing on the track. Right. My first call was to the little freebie. Yeah. And I said, hey, buddy, are you running in the youth compact? He said, yeah, I'm actually running in both, the youth and the full size. And I asked him if he would mind just watching out for CJ for us. Sure. He said I would be honored. That's great. <laughs> uh, just, a good, just a good kid, you know, all right. around good. And uh, CJ didn't have the length of the run that we hoped he would have, but he had a good time, and, and we appreciate Scotty being a stand-up driver out there. You see them sawing the wheel on the Z21 and not much, if any, response out of the front wheels. Yeah, something's gone awry there. Hitting with the tire. <laughs> you now Meyer trying to lean on that weakened left side. 22 of Greg, still running and moving. Dylan Meyer, 42, just takes a shot. Many of these drivers are just small in the seat, having a hard time seeing how the cars have been. What are we closing up on? 75 minutes here? Something like that.
right front really starting to lean hard now on the number 42. 22 of uh, Greg holding still out there trying to refire. Good hits in succession there. The seven, uh, Z21 of Zach Collier. Back bumper right up to the uh, top of the C pillars. Bottom of the C pillars, I should say, on that number 07 of Cameron White. Myers car found steam yep. again. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's uh be more smoke than it is steam. Yeah. They're watching close. Officials are keeping an eye on that number 42. And just as quick as it began, the smoke is gone. I want to give a shout out to the Williams Family Derby clan. They're watching and uh, couldn't make it. Appreciate that. Catching the whiffs of rear end grease? Yeah, a little bit. At four for the moment. Now steam pours from under the hood of the Z21. Didn't follow through with that shot. Didn't go after the nose of the number 07. Looking for the 225 now. Contact made. Z21 rumbles back to life. We get Freebie back. Drevenek Jr. And the 22 also still in the mix. Clayton Gregg in the 22. Z21. After all that heavy steaming. With the nose shifting upward, still making active contact on the 283 of Trevenek. This class does have um, what they call the uh, Wheelman Award, which mm -hmm. is presented by Hardcore Derby Promotions out of Pennsylvania. That's going to happen on the track after this, this class is done. We talked about that a little bit. Do you know more of the details of what their criteria are for choosing the Wheelman Award? Just, it's not somebody who goes out there and throws haymakers. It's not a mad dog award. It's it's not a most junked. It's it's not a, a most mangled or anything like that. It's looking for a way to recognize a driver who faced some adversity out there, maybe lost a wheel, maybe lost steering, had some, some early uh, mishap, and still drove it down in an effective way. 
Okay. Um, we've got a couple drivers out here that, that, that I'm confident are in contention. <laughs> I was going to say, with, <laughs> with that description, the 225 has to be in the running for that. And uh, I think the 42 of Meyer, who's been battling that, that left front at minimum for quite some time mm -hmm. as well. But right now, uh, Jack in that 225 would, would probably have my vote for that. Um, and we've still got, we've still got still six cars to work through. We've been sitting at six now for a little while and we've seen a couple cars uh, push some serious smoke and some serious steam. But at the same time, after that, they've been able to carry on. So some good power plants under the hood for these cars. Absolutely, good equipment. You know, it's one of the things I talked about and I did my Facebook Live as we walked down the staging area lineup of uh, these cars, you know, they're, just because they're a youth car doesn't mean they're any less than. Right. The quality of the build is, is impeccable on these cars. Mm -hmm. Trent Burke, being pretty observant out there watching, he said you could see Dave Meyer with a bottle of water in his hand in the car. He must have got thirsty. <laughs> Has he put the phone away? Maybe. Maybe. He's excited regardless. Look at him. Oh, nice. Tanner Stamper is looking ahead to Superstock, and he says Justin Buchanan is the one to watch. Yeah. Whoa. Don't want to do that too many times. Nope. Climbed right over the quarter panel of the Drevenak machine. Meyer took a big hop out there. Greg comes back through. Trying to pin a couple cars in here, thin the herd. Perfect timing. Yep. It's a good hit. Z21 able to refire again. Arcs that machine right into the right front corner of the 07 Cameron White taking that shot on the right side. I'd heard a rumor that Collier in the Z21 built his own engine. Not Jeff, but Z. Huh. Well, that's cool. Good, good hands-on experience. Yeah, I would say. I would say. Everybody coming together in the middle. Jarvanak almost put that back bumper 
those rails up underneath the nose and uh, risk getting hung there. I was able to get away with it. Mm. How do you pick here? I've got to sort of lean towards Scotty. He's still got four wheels and steering and experienced drivers will tell you that's what wins derbies. Yep. Twenty-two zero seven Z twenty-one forty-two and two twenty-five. Yep. Jeffy's Fab Farm live look in here, providing the look on Facebook, giving you a taste of the action here throughout the course of the night here at Bastor Cash Day Number Three Smash and Demolition Derby, putting this event on. If you want to see the rest of the night, all the rest of the features coming up tonight after this event, you can do so on DerbyNation.tv. Make sure you get your ticket. Eighties wires coming up. Back to back once more, and again. Here comes the 22. Greg comes back through with a shot. Where did Drevenek end up at? Right you. Shall receive. <laughs> Putting some miles on that car. watch that rear end chuck back and forth it seems like it's getting to be a little bit more travel in that yep it's definitely tuck it up into the door further yeah it's just gonna be easy on the throttle to, to walk it in not uh, rip it out right I think that tire is heavy enough to be uh, opening the the wheel well on its own. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Clearancing itself. We're watching four battle here. We've still got two somewhere else. <laughs> and as we mentioned, uh, yeah, they just, <laughs> just appear <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> Look at the other side of the Z Z71. It's got a bizarre pitch to it, doesn't it? Yeah. flat tire on the driver's rear freebies machine and also on the other side so rear flats a little freebie 283 looks like the bumper or the Possibly even a section of the frame has broken loose on the number 
Uh, 22, Clayton Gregg. Something on that upper right corner on his trunk window shield. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Mired both ends. Meyer starting to shift there. Big time. Of the Z21. Front tire is behind the front bumper. And Collier can't help that much. The more he gets on the throttle, the more chance he has of ripping that rear end out. Right. And he had, he still had steering, right? Going into this exchange? Um, yes. Well, some. I don't think he had much it was it was compromised but it wasn't gone yeah so it's going to be a couple of different things working against these two trying to get unstuck with the bumper clearing the right front corner there the 22 of greg sitting there stuck together with the and just refiring the z21 machine Dylan Meyer walking it around. It naturally yep. turns left. He's taking his time. Jack Zernjevich in the 225, also battling some steering issues. He's off to himself for a little bit. Now trying to figure out what this car needs in order to get it to turn back towards the rest of the class. We were talking about the left-hand hook to the number 42 of Meyer. When he backs it up, it tends to want to go straight for him, which was a, a, a bit of a blessing. But it wants to hook only going forward, but going in reverse, he can get it to go straight. Not quite the same situation right now for that number 225. Jack having some much more complex mobility issues that he's trying to solve with uh, tires that are fighting one another. We're officially down to four. Yeah. Zero seven forty two freebie and the two twenty five. Zero seven Colton White, forty two Meyer, two twenty five. That is uh, Dunjevich, and then the two eighty three Drevenak. Yes, a couple of real easy last names to say. Yep. <laughs> Meyer and Company. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber's trying to come off that rear rim on the driver's side. That just did a lot right there. Yeah. It's pushing everything down onto the wheels, and they're hooked. There they go. They got it free. Got themselves free.
wonder if Scotty will be hindered by that tire coming off. A little bit of lack of, tra lack of uh, traction there. Or, I mean, it was already spinning inside the rubber for a while, but. Yeah. I can't imagine it was, it's gonna be much worse. Down to four. Cold and light. Just drove over that tire. You wouldn't think that an empty tire would be that big of a deal, but they can end up in the strangest places. Yep. Wrap around the drive shaft, get wrapped around a strut or something. Mm -hmm. Control arm can just drag and create havoc for you. Have it get wedged up underneath the, the rear end there. Start dragging that around. Pack that thing full of dirt. Then you got to fight your way around dragging it with you. I was wondering where that sheet of paper was. I want to recognize the Smash It crew doing a great job of keeping us informed with our driver sheets and mm -hmm. rundowns and how, how the oil running order's gonna go and everything, keeping everything with us. You know, as you know, fans, if you watch with us throughout the season, we sometimes struggle uh, with having driver lists and getting the right names right and whatnot. And, uh, it's nice to have it all here in front of us, be able to call the action. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Trevenak with a good shot, rolling backwards into the left front corner of the 07 of White. Dernjevic in the 225. Making qualifying contact. Backing it up into the number 07. Meyer still hanging on to Hope. No steering, nose going up in the air on the number 42. My first road car. Eventually, uh, it was covered in graffiti. I had people like sign their name and draw pictures on it and whatnot. And uh, right next to the gas door, it said, this car don't run on gas, it runs on Hope. <laughs> We're seeing some of that right now. A little bit. Inside a freebies car. Yeah, I noticed uh, the passenger looks very busy. They, they were doing something in front of them, then they turned around. Now they're 
reaching for something behind. <laughs> George, our producer, said he's reaching into the cooler to grab something to drink. I'm impressed with uh, Freebie's patience here. Yep. Putting myself in his shoes, I would have been in finishing mode at this point. I, I would have uh, started to turn it around and use the nose and been more aggressive. Being being the one with the steering, Right. Uh, I would have been tempted to uh, to try to put the kill shots on. Sure. <clears throat> and I, I have to be impressed with this patience because I don't, I don't have that level of it. Everyone taking turns riding up on their opponent's rear wheel and trying to flip themselves. Jack did it. Meyer did it. Good hit right there on that front wheel. Staying after it too. Cool. He'll be hung there for a moment. Right. See, try to peel that bumper back down. Corners hooked over. Yeah, it's way up in there. There it is. Slid down to the left side. Trying to come together on the 225. Yep. He was able to back out of the way. Get a wheel, Scotty. Heartbreaking. It fixed itself. It's fine. It's cool. Looks like that tire is trying to escape off the right side now on the 283. Yeah. It's walking back and forth on the rim. Completely off the beat at this point. Might help him to lose it at this point. Still turning with it. I don't know if this class allows bead locks of any kind or. I don't remember seeing any.
Shane Shade tuning in, watching from Mount Vernon, Ohio, rooting for Little Freebie. It's a pretty good pick right now. Making everybody work to get to him, staying away from the knot. more hung together. Yeah. There they go. They're free. Good work. Patience again. That might be it for the 283. Barely crawling around out there. Been at four for a while. Nobody wants to be the next to go. No, and we're watching the, the steering issues as they become more uh, significant. Fewer cars are out there, able to move around and, and gain a little bit of space. So those cars that can't steer, it's tough for them to make qualifying contact. That left rear corner, yeah, I see them, left rear corner has that flat tire and now briefly the 07 has shoved the 283 into a bad spot, able to work its way out of there. So the 07 of white now turns his attention to... So I guess he's going to go after the Meyer machine. Went in passing to get the back end trained on the nose of the number 42. Went ahead and took that shot. The number 42 of Meyer was quick to act and put the front bumper on the right rear corner of the number 07. Able now to get himself free. That is a little freebie. Jevenak in the number 283. Once again sitting idle on the track, trying to get that refired. Right rear tire loose on the bead. Left rear tire completely gone on the 283. Steering non-existent on the number 225. Likewise on the number 42. That is Dunjevic and Meyer. And then we've got the 07 of Cameron White. And Meyer with a shot using the back end. And on that impact, we saw. Saw some evidence of uh, issues going from bad to worse with the chatter on the left front corner of that number 42. Freebie went for it a little bit there. Got on the gas.
natives getting a little restless at home, wanting to see these guys turn it up a little bit more. And right. no, normally I would agree, but three of the four have no or limited steering here. Right. Only so much they can do. seven he's got one wheel steer which gives him a, a little bit of an advantage over the other guys uh, you know the 225 and the 42 What? Blue sky? Right. It's the first time we've seen this all weekend. Jordan Burgess echoing our thoughts. He said, very good driving by the youth. Almost thought there was veterans out there. Yep. Drevenak. Looks like he's in trouble up there at the top of the track. Down to three and possibly two. Scotty all done? Yeah, it looks like it. Trevinich in the 225. Sitting idle also. 07 circling the waters. Meyer trying to catch him at the pass here. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Crowd's into it. Yes. trying to avoid that shot, almost got out of the way. So that was qualifying contact there. Colton, I thought Colton was trying to play the game a little bit. Nice. Good, uh, good hit right there. He's gonna back away, staying right there with him. From Axel, maybe. I, th I saw the passenger side rear tire on the 07 spinning aggressively and nothing out of the driver's side. No, nope, no, it's going, just flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to time it and that, that left hand turn almost tossed Meyer there. Catch 
have been reverse. That's a good hit right there. The other one going after that back end. Oh, 07. Last contact 80. to White. Gonna make him come to him. Give him enough time, he'll work his way around to you. It will turn slowly left. Just got to go back. Just got to drive forward. Two car lengths. He's going to wait until he's lined up on him, and he's going to pull forward, right? Oh, it's stalling. It oh, fires no. and dies. Nice. That's a good hit for Meyer. <laughs> Meyer knew he could get there. I, I wonder if the 07 just ran out of fuel. Right. It, se it seems like it fires and dies, fires and dies. Wow. If, if this came down to a driver ran out of fuel for first and second, I mean, that's a veteran finish right there. Meyer is pumped. Dave Meyer is more excited in this car than he's been in his own cars. Don't blow it up. Whew. Oh, 07 fired and died again, but oh my goodness, what a finish. Interesting turn of events there.